Hello friends on Lumberjocks and uh, YouTube. Today I want to uh, put together a model of a bulldozer that I've made the last uh, week. I make it all in components and have it so it just uh, screws together. And later I will show you for my uh, YouTube friends that uh, but the other models that I've made as well. So anyway, before we get started here, and uh, I think I can put it fa together fast enough that you won't get bored. Anyway, this is the key project, key key part to this project. It's the uh, track adjustment uh, device here. You just have little screws here on the back side that. Uh, can uh, adjust it once you get your track on. So let's say the first thing is to do is to put the uh, the roller assembly on and in this case since it's model I'm just using a slide rather than uh, uh, rollers. It's one on one side there and uh, we'll pop one on this side as well. And when you're trying to do things quickly, it get a little clumsy. Okay, that's that part. Uh, we'll put the wheels on. Front rollers, back rollers. Uh, these could be. Uh, you could just use regular wheels like a lot of people have been doing on the back here. I laid these so they uh, have a center part and uh, outer edge. Okay, let's find a track now. When you put your the track, uh, your grouser pad is not in the center. Those uh, should go towards the front. Let's see if we can get it on. I just barely got enough room after I put the uh, okay that one's on a little bit clumsy at doing that but uh, and we'll make sure this one's in the front See if we can do a little better job on this one. Okay, that's on, that's on. And uh, now all we have to do is uh, tighten the track. You'll see how that works there. One side, then the other. And uh, And then we'll make sure that uh, they turn. Okay, that one turns good. This one turns good. Okay, so there's you can see a little closer setup there, adjusting screws, and the uh, slide there. Okay, my next step was to put a a cover on that, so it's all held together, nice and tight. And that's quite easily done. I'm using uh, Jiprock screws because of they're quite thin. The less problem of splitting wood, of course. They work quite nice. Okay, and there's my uh, track assembly all put together. Now comes the rest of it. This piece here raises this area up to uh, the height that we need. Probably could have used a hair higher but uh, the board was only so thick. Okay. Now, I've uh, you noticed I've cut this down here a little bit. You'll see why here in a second here. Okay, we're going to put the uh, uh, control, and now I've used a different size screw, so 
So I'm going to have to switch over to the number two Robinson. Two little screws hold that on. And uh, oh, we're coming along. And then uh, the uh, this comes back a little bit farther here and uh, holds the uh, comes over the front there and holds uh, the front of that down. I had to grind my screwdriver bit down to uh, to fit into the quarter inch holes there. One is going to be exhaust pipe, the other is air cleaner. Okay, so that's almost looking like something already. Okay, so what should we do next? Should we do the canopy? Okay, the canopy just sits on there. Little dowels that that fits into. And uh, we'll pop a couple screws in there. I've taken the screws and uh, ground the heads down so I can fit them into a smaller hole. One side and the other side. Okay, that's just about done. And uh, then we have two screws at the back here as well. Okay. Okay, there's something I forgot to put on. We'll put on the, these are the planetary assemblies. Uh, in the real life, they, they use a planetary assembly as well as gears, of course, to reduce your track speed. Pop one on the other side, and it's looking, almost looks like a cat. Okay, since we're going to use this for uh, as a bushwhacker in the in the logging industry, we'll put a, attach a winch. It just goes on the back and uh, two screws. I have to turn this this way in order to. There, we're ready to go logging. The winch has been attached and uh, we have a little hole here where you can adjust your t track tension. The way this winch works is uh, I have a little key that goes in this hole here and you can turn your winch there and uh, then I put a, uh, a little selector needle through there to uh, so the winch won't unspool there. Okay, so looks like the only thing we got left is the is the blade. So these will go onto the side here, and then they'll be held in place with uh, when we put the blade on. One on this side, and we'll pop the blade on. After I got it finished, it's a little tight there. And it's just a matter of finding the screw hole where that would uh, go into place there. And one on this side. You got uh, two pieces to line up when you do that.
And one on this side. Okay, well, we're still short a couple things. I probably should have put the exhaust pipe in earlier. That goes in that screw hole. Air cleaner in the other screw hole. There we go. Got that one in. And uh, I guess we better put the cylinders on. So they'll go on there. And then a little pin to hold to secure that. One more on this side. And there she is. The blade's a little stiff because of the finish on there. I need to put a little plastic washer in there. But uh, okay, just put that around so you can see what it looks like. Blade. The other side. And of course, the, another shot of it from the back there. Okay, so that's it. Completed model of a TD20, International TD20. So I hope you enjoyed that assembly product there and uh, process and hope uh, maybe give you a few ideas on uh, putting a model together. It's quite easy when you build it in components. Uh, and these tracks uh, are very easy and quick to build and they look good. They've got the full grouser on and then the little space there. Those are the how to make those tracks are described more fully on uh, lumberjocks.com uh, under Bushmaster. So anyway I will thanks for looking and uh,